There's been a lot of debate about what kind of student assignment policy is better. Is it better in Wake County or is it better in Mecklenburg County? And many people claim that because Wake County uh, buses students forcibly based on socioeconomic status, that they outperform all other school systems. But it appears from the test data that that's just not the case. In particular, we're talking about test score growth. And Wake County, compared to Charlotte, Mecklenburg, and also some other large urban districts, had slower growth. That's right. Wake County's growth was relatively small compared to districts like Charlotte, Mecklenburg, Guilford, or Winston-Salem Forsyth. And in fact, in most subjects, it appeared that Wake County really lagged behind these other urban districts. Uh, these districts, by the way, that have neighborhood schools and choice programs. So we shouldn't say that Wake County schools went down or that they declined, but they certainly didn't grow as fast as other districts without the forced busing. That's exactly right. And in fact, we you, you see dramatic growth in, in the test scores of these other districts. Uh, and compared to what kind of growth we saw in Wake County, it really raises some questions about whether all the hoopla about Wake County score increases uh, was really warranted. Uh, and all that hoopla came out before these test scores were revealed.